Do you want to know how to transfer files between cloud drives and file hosts? Then watch this video until the end. Hi guys, this is James. In this video, I'm going to show you how to transfer files between cloud drives and file hosts such as Anon files, Bayer files, Cepicia. To do this, I created a collab notebook using several command line tools. I have mentioned the authors of them in the GitHub repo. So if you are interested in using them on your own, you can find them in the GitHub repo. Ok, let's head to the tutorial. First, you should open the collab notebook on your browser. To do it, use one of these links. You can find them in the video description. If you would like to support me without spending a single penny, you can use this one. You just have to wait several seconds on the page to get the URL of the Collab Notebook. But if you don't like to do so, you are free to use this one. It will take you directly to the Collab Notebook. Yeah, this is the notebook we are going to use. These are the supported file hosts, but new ones will be added in the future. From here, you can mount any cloud drive that's supported by our clone. I've already uploaded a video to show you how to create our clone config file and use it on Google Collab to mount cloud drives. You can also find that video's link in the video description. You can use this cell to download files from these file hosts to your cloud drives. All you have to do is provide in the file URL and the download destination. With this cell, you can upload files from your cloud drives to these file hosts. These are the max file sizes that I could upload successfully. But you guys are welcome to check if this can upload larger files. I added this media file option because one of you guys told me that he needs to transfer files between media file and Google Drive. So I included it in this notebook. To upload files to media file, you need to have a media file account. So you need to enter account credentials and the path to the file that you want to upload to media file. You can find the GitHub repo from here. If you want to stay in touch with my contributions, you can follow me on GitHub. Also don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel if you find something helpful in this video. The bad thing is, I found some issues in this notebook. That's why now I'm gonna show you how this notebook works and how to avoid these issues. It's not necessary to watch the entire video if you can manage these issues. Right, first we should click on connect. Next run this cell, it will install the required tool to get the notebook work. From here, you can see if they are downloaded, but if you can't see several folders like this, just run this cell again. From here, you can mount your cloud drives as I said before. If you don't know how to add your cloud drives to Arco, watch this video to see how to do that. It doesn't matter which operating system you are using because I have explained everything in this video. You can also find that video's link in the video description. Right, using this cell, we can upload our R clone config file. And with the second cell, we can mount the drives that we added to R clone. I've already added my Google Drive to R clone. As here you can see, you can add new cloud drives by using this option. Running the R clone config file command, we can find the location where the config file is stored at. Right, now I'm going to upload the config file. Next, we have to mount the drive by just providing its config name. You can see its config name is shown here. Yeah, it's collab dude. Now, run the cell. Yeah, it is mounted successfully. Click on the refresh button to see the mounted drive. Ok, now I'm going to upload a file to this file host. Later, I'll show you how the download process works. This is the file I'm going to upload to file host. After providing the path of the file that you want to upload, run the cell. Here you can see we got an error. This might happen because of the unavailability of the required tools. So the thing now we have to do is running this cell again. It will reinstall the tools.
Yeah, now we can see those tools are downloaded here. So we can upload files without errors. First, I'm gonna upload the dummy file to Anon files. Yeah, it is uploaded correctly. Next, I'm going to use CPShare at the file host. Great. Let's use bare files as the file host. Yeah, it worked fine. To upload files to Mediafire, you can use this cell. If you get any error while uploading to Mediafire, just rerun the cell. It won't re-upload the file, but instead detect the already uploaded file and return the download URL. Right, to upload files, you have to provide a confidentials and the path to the file here. Next, run the cell. Right, it worked fine too. Now I'm going to show you how to provide download URLs to download files from this file host. I create a new folder here, then I can use it as the download destination. First, I will show you downloading from media file. This is not the URL we should use. We can get the download URL from here. Copy it and paste it down here. Then run the cell. Okay, let's see if it is downloaded correctly. Yeah, it is. Now I'm going to download a file from ZPShare. Just copy this URL and provide it as the download URL. I delete the downloaded file because it is the same file we are just trying to download from ZPShare. Yeah, we got it. Now let's see downloading a file from Anon Files. You can use either long URLs or short ones. I delete the downloaded file again. Yeah, it took longer to download the file from Anon Files. If you see this line, you should correct the file extension on your own. You can see here that we should replace the underscore with the dot. Great. Now we only have to check downloading a file from bare files. Let's do it too.
Right, here you can see the same thing that we saw with Anon files. Yeah, we have to correct the extension. Okay, let's check the drive folder. Here you can see the downloaded file. That's all. I hope you guys will enjoy this tutorial. Also, don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends. To watch more tutorials like this, do subscribe to the channel.